Well, Natasha Potudwaha, Senator representing uh, Senator Elect, representing Kogi Central Senator District, joins us now live. Uh, good to see you, uh, uh, Natasha. Congratulations are in order. And uh, well, quickly, your supporters were all out in Kogi and here in Abuja. Fessa, tell us uh, quickly if we can go through this journey for you. Uh, good evening, Suleiman. Um, thanks for having me. Good evening, Nigerians. Uh, this journey has been quite turbulent the past, uh, I would say, um, one year. Uh, remember, I started my um, elections as the primary has been pregnant. Then I had the baby, and then I was accused of sponsoring terrorism. To be specific, uh, the government of Kogi State accused me of uh, being behind the Owo massacre and uh, the Kuji prison break, amongst many other things that happened. So it's actually surprising to hear me, him call me his sister while passing his congratulatory message. Um, putting that aside, uh, the reaffirmation of my senatorial victory by the appeal court has renewed my hope in the judicial system in Nigeria and I actually appeal and call on all the other judges who would find themselves uh, occupying such sensitive uh, positions whereby they determine the merits of uh, such cases that they should shun corruption and uh, be quite judicious in uh, discharging their duties. So I actually appreciate the team that um, oversaw my uh, appeal. And um, so far, I'm actually happy, even though I wish my happiness were complete if the, um, our royal father, his uh, royal majesty, the Ohinoye of Iberaland, if he had not passed away, I wish so bad that he had stayed long enough to witness this day because he was a great pillar and he suffered tremendously um, because of his open support for me. If I can remind Nigerians, many don't know that um, the government of Kogi State actually cautioned all the traditional rulers not to open their arms to me, not to receive me, but he dared these odds and said he cannot close his doors to me, his daughter. I've known um, our late king pretty much all my life. He's a very good man and uh, his death is a great loss, not just to me, but the entire people of Iberia land and Nigeria at large. But I'm uh, just um, going to hold on to the brighter side of it. Uh, absolutely. That, um, and so good to see you, uh, Natasha. He died. Yeah, uh, I mean, okay, just land on that. Okay. So yeah, before I, I thought you had, uh, yeah. No, like I said, I'm actually happy that I met with him. He was in the hospital two weeks before he died. He was quite frail, but when I met with him, he prayed, and amongst others, he was happy with the outcome of the tribunal judgment, and he prayed that I get this victory today. But then again, uh, my husband and my family, I would say, they've been a great support, great support. My husband from Delta State, he received a lot of blows, and he weathered the storm with me. Um, uh, he weathered the storm with me. I even had moments when I was almost giving up because of how intense the journey was. He reminded me of why I got into politics and he reminded me of the need to stay firm and that he never wavered one day. Um, and I call on all men to please emulate my husband and to be of great support to their wives and fathers to be of great support to their daughters, brothers to be of great support to their sisters so that we can have more women achieve greater heights in politics and in corporate fields. So, but to the Very good well people said. of Kogi Central, Very well this said is if you their victory, this is their doing. Great, great, great. And we are <laughs> definitely happy with you. What do you think may have been responsible for this level yes. of um, opposition that you had from the state government, from, you know, uh, the Kogi uh, state government or governor, if you like? Is it because you're a woman or are there other factors that played out? I would out? say. Uh, yeah, it, I mean, are there other factors that may have led to this uh, very, very serious opposition from the state government? Um, you see, uh, people are born differently. Isn't it odd that a state governor would issue a statement that he accepts the judgment? He wasn't on the ballot. 
But he went all out, owning this, the last election, as if it were Yahaya Bello against Natasha on, at the last election. You see, uh, like I said, people are made differently because while some sit down and allow things to take a natural course, some want to become godfathers at all costs. Yaya Bello falls into the latter category. He has a personality which I would say is, with all due respect, deluded. And it makes him want to lord over things and dictate the terms, almost act like a mini-god on earth. And that is not how life happens. And um, I would say this, while I, in 2018, before I joined the SDP and contested for the senatorial seat, I was in APC for pretty much three months. And I will say this, the governor called on me, just like he called on nine other canned aspirants at that point, and telling each and every one to step down. To some people, he offered money. He offered me money as well. He offered me 50 million at first. I turned down. He said, how about 70 million so you will step down for my anointed candidate, who was the then uh, uh, senatorial candidate, who was the then senator. And that I, should, I rejected him and I told him I wasn't in the race for money. It wasn't a, per, a, person, a personal aggrandizement, but it was to create an impact and help my people. And that annoyed him, so I moved into SDP and I contested that election. So the same thing happened now. Yahya Bello does not like being dared. He wants his words to be law. He doesn't understand that he's a governor to everybody and his duties as, bound, as, as stipulated by the Constitution makes him responsive to me, responsible to me. But he went all out, cutting the roads a few days to elections, sending people to attack and shoot at my convoy, all of that. And then he was, <laughs> at the very last day in Ajakuta there, when they were collating, he was with his men, calling on them and commanding on them to rig me off. So when you ask me why he went overboard this way, I would just say it is who he is. It is who he is. When the person is vindictive and dictatorial in nature, that is just who he is. And um, I think it's really wrong. But on the other hand, we will say, yeah, uh, we have uh, 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 Natasha, in sorry, well, I think we're almost activities because yeah, of we're, the we're, institution. <laughs> we're, we're out of Let time. Let me say this. It's very important I say this. Right. Go ahead. He Ayaya Bello succeeded because we also had weak institutions. I mean, we had the returning officer who saw that the figures did not add up, but he went ahead and pronounced the APC candidate the winner. Why did he do that? I don't know. But you know what? As a political reformer, I am looking forward to INEC prosecuting all the airing electoral officers so that this the, the, when, these gen, when these men are jailed and made to serve a term, they will serve as an example to other people who would sell their conscience. Quickly here. You, you, I uh, look forward if, to if a strong can, electoral yeah. reform. Right. Yeah, if we can do this quickly in a minute. Uh, you're also a lawyer. You've, you've gone through this uh, journey as highlighted by you. And uh, it's not all the time you get to see a ruling party uh, lose. Uh, any word for the ruling party or the president in this? Um, for, uh, oh, if I can say this, I would appreciate, I would like to express uh, my deep appreciation to the First Lady, uh, Her Excellency Remy Tinubu. I heard a story which I'm not too sure of, but I was told that Governor Yaya Bello met with her last week, asked in a bid to solicit her support in pressurizing the judges. Like I said, it's an allegation, but I heard from a reliable source. But then she, did, she turned him down. Her words, as I heard, were that um, she's actually worried with the number of women in the Senate today. And it will be a joy for her to have Natasha there. That if Natasha won the seat, then let her have her, her, her judgment. You don't have to go around trying to obtain it. Let her be. Now, if she actually said this, then I would like to openly appreciate her. I have not met with her, but I appreciate her motherly, um, the motherly words she has spoken for, for me. And, um, but I'd like to add this. This victory means a whole lot to the good people of Cookie Central, and I appreciate you all. If you're watching me, Avonini, 
um, I look forward to being a good voice, to being a good representation, to tell Nigerians and the world all the best that you have, to see how we can turn around your resources so we could bring about economic development for you because you deserve it. You're worthy citizens in developing Nigeria. So I will not be too far away from you. You voted me because you want my voice to speak loud about your concerns. You're, you're very poor right now, you are no jobs, your businesses are suffering, and I promise to make that turn around for your sake because I'm part of you and I'll take you around with me every day, every month, every year that I spend in National Assembly. I'll be a good ambassador to the good people of Kogi Central and Nigerians at large. Passionate the woman women. there, a passionate woman there, Kogi Central. I have a feeling they are very lucky to have you, uh, Natasha Akpoti uh, Udwanga, uh, Kogi Central uh, winner for the PDP there. Of course, you'll be sworn in tomorrow. Wish you all the very best.